today we start with a little disclaimer which I am going to read to you. This video is about Media2Web, a little software I programmed to uh, make use of the Avolite's web API in conjunction with a MIDI device. This does not work with Titan 1. This does not interfere with Titan code, but makes use of the documented Titan web API. And this does not work with Titan consoles because they have no MIDI drivers installed. But you can run it on a computer which is networked to your console. That's what I wanted to uh, wanted you to keep in mind and have fun with the video. Hello and good evening. Hello. Um, I was bored again and I have hacked a little bit, so this might be interesting for people who like to program some little stuff. stuff. What we have here is the Titan Mobile. We have a computer running uh, the Titan Mobile software here. And at the moment it runs also the screen capture tool, so um, it's a little bit stressed, but uh, it's not really a big problem. I think. So mobile, I programmed a little show. Here's a queue, another queue, another queue. Nothing special about this today. Um, the interesting thing is this little piece here, which is a Korg Nano Control. Um, you know this is a little um, MIDI fader board. You can use it to control your audio workstation and I programmed a little thing to um, use it together with my Titan Mobile as well. You can see the Titan Mobile here. At the moment it has only the um, USB connected which I need but the MIDI port as well as the 4DMX ports are all free. So I programmed a little tool which translates MIDI coming from the nano control to web API commands, which are then being transferred to the Titan Mobile software. I gave the name MIDI to web. So this is my um, developing environment. Um, of course, it comes with an installer, so you would go to uh, all programs, Avoloids, um, MIDI to web, and then start it here, or I start it just here. It's, it's the same thing for you. You don't need to install it, you can just unzip and um, run it from there. All you need to do is um, double click on MIDI to web exe. Here we go. It's a little black window because it's a command line program. It's something like it says hello. It loaded a config file from somewhere else where we'll we talk about later on. And it asks us which MIDI device to use. And at the moment it finds only one device, which is ID zero. It's my nano control two. And so of course I hit zero and enter and now it's listening and we can just keep it running there in this mode it doesn't tell us much more and we just leave it there and let's see what happens if i raise a fader here and you see there comes a fixture to life another one i even programmed some swap buttons here or the other way around and I have a queue where my moving lights are in there it's just some uh, Roby color spot 300 I believe and I programmed some other buttons where which which I can press here and now it's white red yellow you can imagine this just calls the palettes everything is defined within this magic config file. Let's have a look. Config ini. Here it is. Uh, I had already opened it somewhere. Here I strongly recommend to use a proper 
text editor, I prefer Notepad++. You can use anyone else, but uh, it needs to be really a good one because this might be a huge file. Essentially, it's uh, three sections, general, just the IP where the messages are to be sent to. Then we have a section strings, which are the command strings we should send to the Titan Web API. This is everything as explained in the API documentation. And um, each of these strings is given a number. Yeah, like the first one is uh, Titan script to playbacks fire, fire playback at level. Question mark, handle user number, level, and always refire three arguments. And this string has a number, number one. And now we have another look, which is here in the third section. This is where the mapping is defined. So when a MIDI node comes in, in that case, a control channel on MIDI channel number one, control number zero, then please apply string number one with the argument one. And if we have a look upstairs, a little bit further up, string number one is Fire adjust our playback and the argument is used for the user number. And this is exactly what I did, what I programmed in my uh, Titan mobile. Let's toggle to the Titan mobile software. And this is Q number one, which has user number one. And that's why my MIDI channel number one or control change number one uh, controls Q number one and so on and so on. There are lots of um, strings defined here, so I try to make it in sections which make sense, like uh, fire playback, swap, clear swap, flash, clear flash, some master related stuff. Um, you can also, instead of using the user number, you can uh, use the uh, location. Yeah, for instance, I use something up here. If you have a closer look, oh, I need to toggle again. Here we go. Um, here's another fixture coming on, but this is programmed on a static playback. If you look up here, this is a button which comes to life, or the next one, directly there. Yeah, I map them here. Of course, you need to know which uh, nodes your MIDI device is sending. That's why I programmed something else in there. Let's have a look at our black window again. Here we go. And it already gives you a little hint like call with option D for debug mode or with option N for not sending requests. So at the moment we have to uh, quit the program. So we press Q to quit and then we th start with option D. So quit the window and now with option D here we go, and hello, option D, debug mode, and here you can see it says debug mode. Now the next question is exactly the same. Which MIDI device to use? Enter for zero, and now it looks a little bit different because it locks and it shows all the MIDI commands. For instance, if I press a button, you see this button is um, control change on uh, MIDI channel one, node 64. And this is mapped in my um, config any to this string, which is then sent towards Titan. Now I release the button, that's why we can see here the level now, which is the array 
one is zero if i press again i have level 127 which is a 100 percent in midi language and now i release it it is zero again and so on and so on um, you will see once you move the fader that it scrolls very fast and uh, this is how it is. it is translated to level for instance at the moment we are at MIDI 116 and 116 divided by 127 is 91% roughly and this is a string which is sent to Titan I think this should do it as an introduction for the moment um, what I could recommend is there is a manual again as well. Go to Avolites again, go to media to web and click on manual. Uh, takes a little while to set up and here we have our fabulous media to web API user manual. I tried to um, make it as yeah, good to read and um, to cover all the questions. So have a look there and have fun. And please give feedback and share your config files in order to make a better user experience for other users. Have fun and good evening.